Let's talk about uh, the magic of fiber and the relationship to diverticulosis and perhaps colon cancer. Diverticulosis is a very common disease in Western society. Few have it until they become 40, 50 years of age. After that, by the time that you're 60 years of age, one third of Americans will have diverticulosis. And when it comes to 80, 85 years of age, two thirds of all Americans have this disease. What is diverticulosis? Diverticulosis has to do with the lumen size. You see, the colon uh, can be very small in its uh, diameter, or it can be large. When you have enough dietary fiber in your colon. When you have this sponge-like effect that fiber represents, the stool is usually large and it's moist and it moves very easily through the colon and the colon is wide open. So the lumen, the space, the diameter is fairly large and everything is fine. There's very little pressure intracolonic pressure in the system and things move along quite nicely and no problem. However, when you are lacking dietary fiber, which is so commonly found in our Western society because of food refinement and the large amount of animal products which have no fiber at all, when you have this kind of a diet, then the colon usually is trying to work very, very hard in moving the fiber insufficient food through the system. What happens now is the lumen becomes fairly narrow. The diameter is much reduced and uh, you now have more pressure being exerted from the outside of the colon to push the food through. So the pressure inside the colon increases to really help in the passage of food towards its proper exit. And when that happens, you will also find that oftentimes the colon wall becomes weakened over time. After 10, 20, 30 years, the colon wall begins to get some outpouchings. There's a weakening taking place and you now have these diverticular sacs, as we call it, these outpouchings, and that's diverticulosis. That becomes very common in people over 40, 50, 60, 70 years of age. And what happens now is the diverticulosis by itself is not all that painful, but when it becomes infected, you have now an infection in the colon, it becomes very, very painful. And that's when we are really looking for answers. And the answer now is not medication. The answer is to decreasing the pressure in the colon and to see what we can do to possibly take the pressure off and the inflammatory process. So diverticulosis and then subsequent diverticulitis are very, very prominent diseases in American medicine, found usually in people as uh, their age advances and the colon wall becomes to become weakened and it leads to these outpouchings, these diverticular sacs that become infected. And so diverticulitis becomes a very, very painful condition. Now let's perhaps take a look at colon cancer or rectal cancer, a very common cancer in Western society rare in societies such as uh, Africa, where people are on a different diet. Again, we begin to recognize that there could be a very tight relationship between food and disease, between diet and disease. We now have a better understanding that a diet high in fat and low in fiber is directly related to the development of colon cancer and rectal cancer. So just think about this. We recommend that people probably should have about 30, 40, grams of fiber in their diet. If you can increase the fiber content from 10 grams commonly found in Western society to 30 or 40 grams, that would be fourfold. That means you could actually reduce the likelihood of colon and rectal cancer by 30, 40, 50 percent. And so there are many, many benefits in increasing the content of fiber in your food. That means eat more plant-based whole foods, not refined foods, but foods as they come in nature foods as grown, simply prepared. This is almost too simple and too magical, but it really is the answer to a common Western disease.